Right, let's one shot our way to rank six. Let's one shot our way to rank six. Normally, whenever I get on this map, I get the super sweaty survivors, though. That just, like, triple gen me in half a fucking second. So. I hate this map as well. No, I know what he meant, Ceramic. Little pig, little pig, let me cook. <laughs> now they've learnt their lesson. Now you've learnt your lesson. Now they won't be fucking around. They won't be fucking around anymore. I want a super sweaty game. Come on. Right, back over we go. We are literally going to run headfirst at every survivor we see. Why would you dead hard there? That makes no sense. <laughs> yesterday wasn't lucky. Yesterday was me getting my ass fucking handed to me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Headshot. Told you. Respect the clown. This shit ain't funny anymore. Oh, <laughs> Alright then. I feel kind of bad. But at the same time, I'm enjoying myself. destroyed it's not even due to like it's not even due down to the fact that they're shit it's just I'm one-shotting them and over we go they're investing too much time into each other there's only one person running around the map doing gens right now ready for the long shot No, you've got to respect the clown. The clown's a little bit gross anyway. But when built like this... Nah, you've got to fucking respect it, man. Basically, if you hear me coming, run. That's the standard at the minute. If you think I'm close, leave. Especially with Pop Goes the Weasel. The amount of times that I can use that perk with this build, it's filthy. If I can instant down and instant hook, I can instant batter a gen. There we go. Bamboozle that. Play. Oh yeah, they're all fucking hiding. You're dizzy me. He naughty naughty. 
you're gonna hide, don't make it obvious. I literally did a loop so she think I didn't see her and then went over. That was the most obvious shit ever. Your scratch marks literally disappeared. And if they want to go get her, they've got a face getting one shot. And the idea of being one shot is terrifying. Like, the idea of getting one shot is terrifying. Because normally people, when they go for a revive... Well, I'd call them scratch marks. There was like a red fucking trail and then it just completely disappeared. And to me that means you're still in the area and you haven't bothered running away. I love the fact that they're healing. Oh, look, let's scratch in the ground. Yeah, these little things, they're called scratch marks. Yeah, there's literally no point healing other than points. Like, you might as well just get on with your shit and stop wasting time. Oh, well, you fucked up. You haven't done it again, have you? No, I'm gonna fucking say. They were smart, they'd go for this one. You've never used scratch marks. Scratch marks are my best friend in this game. I've got fucking stuck on a fucking rock. No, oh, I've lost it. I've got stuck on a fucking rock. Are you purposely trying to get my attention or are you just throwing? Direct hit, piss off. <laughs> it wasn't shut up. I know it wasn't, I'm just being salty. Even got Pop Goes the Weasel off there. I've barely seen any of them this side, so they're this side. This has been worked on. I 
I'm doing really good at like pro like patrolling the gens here. I just see someone. Come on. They're all hiding. They're literally hiding. I mean, they're doing well, but if they get one more gen, they're going to lock down a certain an area. I was gonna say yeah. If you not, if you don't play this game loads, then you probably won't have had time to really like. But no, scratch marks can win you a game. One little scratch mark can be the difference between walking the way they are and walking to the other end of the map and throwing a game. One little scratch mark can literally make that much difference. I feel like they're over on this gen. No, this hasn't been touched. I kind of want to patrol up here because I can see a lot from up here. Tell you what I am going to do. <sighs> get rid of this. It's a very good pallet to get rid of. Yep, there you go. That's fine. We'll go for this one over here. They didn't run left, they went right. Right, this is fun. The gens they've worked on the most are that one and that one. So these two are probably going to be their main focus. This game hasn't gone as quickly as I wanted, but I quite like that, in all honesty. Don't get me wrong, I like being toxic and one-shotting people, but this also gives me enough points. Yeah, 100% games will be easy. If you can read scratch marks, if you can read scratch marks, you've got a huge advantage. Someone was literally just here. in the bushes yeah I know I'm just checking the gens they've spread out the gens quite well so it isn't all just one sided yeah I dislike this map so much this map is so survivor friendly it's ridiculous Alright, so they're not on this side of the map, they're on that side of the map, 100%. It's quite an easy loop, to be honest, to kind of roam. This has been worked on. Got an idea. Are you that dumb? Nope, you're not. That's fine. Just trying to cut her off here. There we go. There we go. I'm trying to like look left and right so she thinks I'm gonna throw one left or right, and it kind of forces her to go head on. Rather than actually like zigzagging, by looking left and right, it kind of forces her to go a specific way. It's kind of my way of going, right, I'm gonna throw it this way, 
And if you don't go this way, you'll get hit. She also used very two very good pallets there and wasted them completely. I feel up top. This one? No. Cross map? Bingo. That's a huge mistake to make. I can probably afford to reload here. Yeah. There's one more. Yeah, she's been there a while. Dan, it's not easy, mate. It's, it's even harder to hit things when they're playing on PC. And she was wiggling. I think we're wrong, she didn't have super high sensitivity. But... But no. Yeah, she's just been hidden in the corner of the map this entire game, I'm telling you. She has not moved from that spot for a solid, like, five minutes. They're both over there. There's a reason why I walked off. I knew one of them would go for the heal. And now I know they're both in the same, roughly, roughly in the same area. Just gonna leave on the floor, uh-huh. Because now I know. <laughs> that they're both here. Sometimes the best thing to do is leave someone on the floor. Because I knew for a fact she was not going to leave her friend to die. Especially since she cannot get every generator done on her own in her state. There was no way she could get every gen done on her own. And she probably doesn't know where the hatch is either. So by leaving her friend on the floor and walking off and reloading, brought them both in. Splash, splash, splash. Done. Sometimes you've got to play smart. Sometimes you've literally got to walk away and let someone come closer. And that's the difference between, like, level 5 and level 10. Just silly things like that. Give him a tasty GG. We got rank 6! Let's go! Woo! That'll be that.